What's going on guys? Probably Nigger here. I've been seeing a lot of uh, different kind of build videos for the Division 2 and you know some of them seem pretty good. Some of them have some nice points. A couple of them have turned me on to some gear pieces that I would have otherwise ignored or undervalued but sometimes I see stuff and I see these guys posting videos like this one here man and I don't mean to bust your balls too much Willis Gaming but your uh, best LMG build insane 110% damage is no it's not the best it's not even that good I mean it's okay I'm sure it might be the best of what you have maybe you focus primarily on another build type and this was just something you were showing on the side I don't know but the point is he's trying to run spotter and on the ropes and all this other stuff he's got all this set up with his pulse and then a little bonus to DPS while the pulse is active and then once the pulse goes on cooldown it's another bonus to damage because he's got the on the ropes and all this stuff on cooldown and he's popping his heels when he doesn't need a heal just to keep his skills on cooldown I personally like to use my skills as you know skills because I have some I forgot to even click the button so the point is I don't need none of that set up I don't need none of that stuff but it's time to put up or shut up so his build with all of his stuff procced and everything at max and everything he could do was putting out right at 600 just over 600 K so let's see where I'm at 1.13 million that's what's a close one so at range sure it drops because you miss a little more and I can't put them straight in his face and this is the named this is as hard as these people get these people these targets that's still 750 I can maintain that all day long So, uh, this build is actually pretty easy too, man. There's nothing complicated about it. Stack damage. I like my safeguard because I like my heals. I use hardened to get the bonus armor. I use the unstoppable uh, force to get all that weapon damage. So that's something that's not even procking in here because I'm not killing anything. But out in the world, this million DPS becomes 1.5, some maybe 2 million. I end up hitting guys in the face for 140, 150k. I mean, look at this shot. That's 113. That's 53. 113. 53. I don't have any crit. I got a little bit of crit. I got like 6 crit on the backpack. Uh, yeah. So that's like something I don't want. I'd like uh, my world for some weapon damage or something because I am running compensated on the gloves. And uh, that's all you got to do, man. Everything else don't matter. You know, you just have to make compensated work. It's a pain in the butt with only three, uh, you know, firearms, attributes, whatever. And then you got to make the unstoppable force work. Of course, that requires seven armor. And uh, from there, like you can even see here on my holster, I have an offensive slot, but obviously if I put something in it, I'll just put the top one, then obviously that turns off compensated. Now, I could ignore that and go ahead and uh, I actually have a couple good pair of LMG damage with the damage to elites. But then I lose my headshot damage. I actually have... I'm certain I have another pair. I have so much junk. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to show all that. The point is, I have another pair, but I like the uh, compensated because it allows me to damage the uh, red guys and purple guys a little more. But they still die too easy. I mean, it's like... Look, you want to see... We'll just burn through some veterans. Just do it already. Why has he got to be way down there? Yeah, you still crank out. I mean, obviously the damage to elites means that I'm doing a ton more damage. Plus, the longer I get to shoot one of these guys, 
the more damage I'm going to do. So I also talked a little bit of trash about my pistol doing as much damage as he was doing with his LMG. So oh, that's going to be fun with it way down there. It's definitely not going to do it because the accuracy is, you know, it's hard to hit. It's a pistol, goddamn. But let it get up here and see what's what. I bet I can do 300k down there. Can't even. Really, dude? Ah, here we go. Time to shine. So there it is. Anyway, that's all. I'm not really trying to do a build video. I figure... I mean, if you guys really want to learn how to play the game, then you have to learn for yourself. You have to sit down and read this stuff. You have to look at it. You have to spend a little time with it. You have to work on what synergizes. And yeah, if you want the good drops, you have to farm. I mean, I won't lie, dude. Look at this crap. I get sick of it sometimes. I mean, I've got... I've cleared this stash out three times this week already. I think it's Wednesday. It is. It's Wednesday. So, I mean, I have to clear it out every day. And I throw away half what I pick up. I don't even look at it anymore. But, uh, I don't know. You just have to work on what you have and work what you get. Sure, you can target things. You can think about, you know, what you want. So, I guess, for example, I could show, like, if I'm running an LMG, of course, I always run a Petrov. Uh, I always run two Oraldi in any build I use because accuracy and headshot damage, you're a fool if you're not using that. Um, these Gila Guard knees just happen to be amazing, and they've got all the defense I need to activate the Rhino talent, right? The fucking Unstoppable Force. Uh, hardened to empower Unstoppable Force, I don't really need the armor. I mean, I could have five armor or 500,000 armor. These damn sniper dogs out here one-shotting us anyway. It doesn't matter. It's just a way to boost damage. So, I don't know. Just build what you build. Do what you do. Play your game and enjoy yourself. All this stuff dies fast enough anyway.